Okay, I'm going to just do a quick video on how to install or reinstall uh, the Skybell app. Um, Skybell on the Skybell app, sorry. Uh, I'm just going to go into my Skybell account um, and I'm going to delete uh, the old one. So if, you go, if we go back, you can see that it's offline there. Uh, I'm going to click on it. Um, click on here, click on front door, my devices. So up on top right and then my devices, click on the name of your device and then just simply click on delete. Yes, delete. Perfect. So now that I've deleted my device, um, it's ready to add a Skybell. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go to my camera so I can show you what's going on here. Um, your Skybell might be flashing red green and it might be double flashing red depending on uh, the Wi-Fi if it was changed or whatnot. So what we're going to do is just going to refresh the uh, the Wi-Fi on there so that we can reinstall. I should be able to install it by it being red green, but sometimes it gets stale if it's there for a few hours and whatnot. So right now we're just going to wait for it to flash green. Um, if the first attempt doesn't work, then what you do is you keep going and then you factory reset. So I'm going to factory reset it anyways just once so I don't have to do it over again. This will eliminate all the information that's inside the Skybell um, and give it factory reset so it's fresh and it's like a brand new Skybell again. So you just basically hold it down. This is a power cycle here if you let it go at the uh, blue or purple. But what I want to do is I want to hold it until it's uh, flashing yellow. And what's going to happen is when I'm flashing it yellow, it's going to uh, automatically delete everything and then restart. There we go. So I can let go. So now we just deleted everything, uh, factory resetting. It's just going to cycle through. Um, and then once it hits red, green, basically it's going to go into um, Wi-Fi mode, AP mode they call it, and it will emit a signal. So once it emits the signal, then we'll be able to add it to uh, Skybell app through our phone. So uh, we can do that. And this does take a, a few minutes, so uh, we'll just watch it and make sure that it's uh, going to go through and then uh, everything should be okay. For the purpose of the video, I'll, I'll let it run and just to, so you can see that uh, the changes it makes and whatnot. So, uh, And again, this could be done uh, simply because you changed the Wi-Fi on at home. So you had the Skybell for a year, two years, whatever. You changed the Wi-Fi, uh, changed internet providers, um, or a completely new install, you know, uh, without the hardware, of course. Uh, but with the hardware, it's normally just two wires and, uh, and the bracket on the back. But uh, that will be shown in another video. And then you can obviously fast forward through all this. <laughs> there we go. So it's in Wi-Fi mode. Perfect. So we're going to go back and uh, we're going to open up the Skybell app. And then it's going to tell us that there's no Skybell because um, I deleted the old Skybell. So it tells you that the syncing process will take approximately two minutes. Is your Skybell flashing red, green? Yes, we it is. We'll go to the next step. To begin the syncing process, uh, we'll launch wireless settings on, depending on your phone, um, with mine, I can simply click on the bottom. Uh, it'll take me in. Uh, I'm going to turn on the airplane mode. And then I'm going to go back to the app, and then I'll get the arrow. Uh, with the iPhones, I believe, you've just got to go to your Wi-Fi settings and then find it. So what we're going to do is go here. Now it's telling us to look for uh, the Skybell. I'm going to turn our Wi-Fi on. And then we're going to search for the Skybell itself. And again, uh, you want to try to be as... Uh, as close as you can to the Skybell. So here's the Skybell showing right here. It's saved, so I'm gonna click on the Skybell. I'm gonna to connect to the Skybell so I can insert the new Wi-Fi details. It says we're connected, so I'm just gonna go back to the app. Go to the next step. And now, inside the Skybell, it's saying, okay, these are the uh, Wi-Fi uh, that we see. So basically, I have a choice here. Um, Let's just do this one, go to alarm guard. It's gonna ask for the password. Done, go to the next step. So basically what's saying is uh, just telling me not to forget to turn off my, uh, my airplane mode so I can turn that off, off to the app. And it's just gonna basically sync uh, while it's doing this. Maybe what I can do is go to the uh, camera just to show you what it's doing. There you go. You got the blinks. 
There we go. So this is the sinking process right now. It's sinking in. Once it hits a solid green, you know uh, the sinking process has been completed. Um, normally you'd be, there you go. So we're just gonna go back to the app, open up the Skybill app, and it should say, there, we got the green thumb. Boom, at the bottom. So I'm gonna click on that, and it'll take us right in. Stream could not be established, that's okay. It just started, so we'll give it some time, uh, basically to uh, configure and whatnot. Give it another try. Oh, that's probably the Wi-Fi is pretty far away, but it, it has been synced, so I'll try to bring it a little closer if I can. Our internet here at the office is across the uh, across the room, so there we go, and we're done. And we're done. Perfect. And this is how to reset uh, factory reset the Skybell and then reinstall it on the Skybell app. Thanks for watching.